What's good, YouTube and Twitch? We're live to both right now, and we've had a very interesting discussion going between all the chats live here, and that's FTK since Master Rule 4 has been a thing. And with Firewall Dragon being a prime suspect, it's not always included. So we're going to start off with some honorable mentions that really didn't touch the metagame too much overall. And the first one's the Samsara Lotus kind of loop, which got banned, which abused Black Cat and didn't necessarily need Firewall to pop off as we've actually showed on the channel before. Another one which did use Firewall is the Wind Up Bat loop, but really hasn't seen really that I know of any top cut penetration. <laughs> know what I'm saying, but Wind Up Bat was able to loop, but a little bit more inconsistently than a lot of the FTKs we've had. And a new one going around is actually the Jetland Duo FTK with Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon abusing Summon Sorceress. So uh, having Red Eyes out, Jetland Duo's effect will be negated, and it will try to destroy itself again and again, but can't with the effect being negated. And It'll just loop into infinite burn damage alongside Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon. Some innovative stuff has been happening out here in the FTK pool. Also to note, limited to one is A Assault Core and ABCs. All I know that this is top is a regional. I haven't seen the YCS top cut list if it exists out there with it, but I have seen a regional top cut list abusing the actual FDK between a assault core and cannon soldiers. So it does have kind of a pre presence and that's maybe why Konami went for it, but the real culprit over even at one limited seems to be firewall for that deck. All this being said, Let's get into the top five decks, the top five FTK decks, since Master Rule 4 has been a thing, with those already in mind. Oh, our band boy Lithosagem, alongside with what was called Dino FTK, and the consistency added by Grand Soil, using Firewall, looping off, you were able to actually deck out your opponents with Infinite Inner Blathnir. Oh. Isn't that just lovely? Your opponent never gets a turn. Well, I guess they get a turn, they try to draw, and they just go ahead and scoop on top of their deck. I know that this was actually featured also, the, the Dino FTK in a sense was featured, on Team Samurai X1's channel, and has quite a few views, but quickly into Master Rule 4, we did see Lithosagen get banned. Grand Soil now has an errata from what it actually used to be. Cards keep changing because of somebody else that's around these parts, it feels like. So, essentially, the FDK no longer exists anymore, yet was around at the very start due to somebody. And our number four slot is Infernity FTK, which still can be pulled off in some senses, but the way it used to be pulled off, no longer. You have to use Shadow Priestess Omen, as I understand it. It's not really as consistent as it used to be, but it did penetrate regional tops, along with Amazonus Archer being summed off MXA Burn Boker, who is now also banned. And Digusto Emerald bringing back Gaia Saber in the combos, who is now also banned. It feels like things keep changing when there's one problem card involved with this FTK, which is Firewall Dragon. So, if you don't know what was happening, basically MX Saber Invoker is able to bring out Amazonus Archer. You're able to loop your Infernity combos over and over, resource your deck, and just burn for 1200, 1200, 1200. These cannon soldier like effects. Yes, burn is also a problem in the game. It's not solely firewall, but firewall's ability to let you continue to loop your resources and pop off definitely made Infernity FTK one of the prime talks of the town as Master Rule 4 was in there. We originally thought Master Rule 4 would really slow down the game, but we quickly learned otherwise that there was actually an ability to speed up popping things out of hand, bringing back things from Graveyard, and we had three Firewall at the point where we were abusing this for a little bit, weren't we? So, definitely something to note. Infernities 2017, actually a thing. Now, let's go ahead and talk about some FDKs that don't involve Firewall Dragon under Master Rule 4. Ah, Garnet. Never feels good to see you, does it? But Gem Knight's actually got a huge boost with Gem Knight Phantom Quartz, Gym Knight Phantom Quartz being a Link Monster, powered up the deck and consistency to allow Gym Knight Burn FDK to be a thing. And if that strategy failed you at all, you actually played Block Dragon Beatdown. 
And that was quite something to see happen over and over. But yet, this weekend, 2018 at YCS London, we saw, even with Gym Knight Master Diamond Limited to 1 now, Gym Knight FDK managed to come back and top. So multi-format tops from Gym Knight FDK, not relying on Firewall Dragon, and just kind of a sign of the times that Link Monsters really find an ability to add consistency to this game, consistency to decks, and it's pretty interesting to see that Gym Knight, so kind of taken as a joke once before, yet the Rogue Duelists, if you're out there, those low-tier heroes, you've always kind of held a regard for Gym Knights. I personally have always been impressed by when they popped off due to GCD playing them against me on Dueling Book. You knew this was probably coming at one point or no another the moment Gym Knight Phantom Quartz was announced. Me personally, I didn't see it being as meta-impacting as it was, but boy did it take a hold and really push its weight around. I've never underestimated Block Dragon either. I call it kind of a pseudo-dragon ruler, if you will, and I've kind of enjoyed its presence overall. But in the number two position, something really painful overall that might be fresh in your memories, might be a little fresher. And that starts with a cup of noodles. What's this cup of noodles do for us? Well, Leerlusk Independent Nightingale in tandem with Supreme King Dragon Starving Venom, who is now banned, all fit into a meta deck of Pendulum Magicians, allowing us to go ahead and FDK just if you happen to draw one card and meet the condition of summoning. Two, so that you could fusion summon into Supreme King Starving Venom, and then another two for another one. So you were able to essentially use this copy-like effect, pop the heck off, and burn for 8,000. It was Honorable. so painful. What's up? Honorable mentioned the Tyrant Neptune, which was hit first. Oh yeah, Tyrant Neptune, Neptune, another card that's kind of fallen by the wayside, got hit preemptively on an FNL list for Leerlusk Independent Nightingale's effect. People somewhat say that copy cards are the problem, copy cards are too powerful, but in my opinion, I've always had a soft spot for copy cards ever since we had Phantom of Chaos. I really found Norlaris being an innovative kind of deck that won a Shonen Jump back in the day. Copying Norlaris and popping off under Satoshi, that was so cool to me. So I enjoy copy cards. Copy cards are only as strong as the cards that are able to be sent. So if you take care of Nightingale, yes, I agree that copy cards could limit future card creation, but Burn's always been a problem, and Burn's a huge part of all these FTKs. And in our number one position with by far the most YCS tops now, even invading the European top cut, which we thought would not happen without summon sorcerers in the meta, is the Dark World Danger. Oh, poor Danger Noodle, please don't get hit. Dark World Danger FDK, revolving around one Firewall Boy, one Cannon Soldier Boy, and doing some loops. Please give me the loops. People joke about it. Cannon Soldier's been hit in the OCG, right? It was preemptively, like, innocent. I don't know if it was actually preemptive over there since they get cards earlier, but they don't have the Danger cards. But it was hit over in the OCG in all forms. Uh, Toon Cannon Soldier's gone too over there. And... Essentially, you're able to just loop off cards and just 500, burn 500, burn 500, burn 500 by looping Grapha and another Dark World for infinite summons thanks to Firewall Dragon summoning the card back out of your hand. So, Cannon Soldier is looking like kind of the villain here, isn't it? It's being able to burn, but the real source of a lot of these FTKs is Firewall letting you infinitely use your resources. It appears by many, many of these that we have mentioned, and is the reason we've seen Limit after Ban after Limit, or, well, that was limited a long ago. Well, let me fix that. After Ban! After Ban! And, and, of course, it has nothing to do with the Pendulum FDK. My point is, Firewall Dragon has a great deal to do with many of these, but not all of these. The game has sped up since Master Rule 4 to really see the way and places that we can just pop off. Turn 1, and if my opponent doesn't have a hand trap, I won the game of this tournament. And now, after side decking, I just have to win one of two. I've kind of cheesed the system, never gave my opponent an interaction with me, should they have not drawn a hand trap. And, boy... Is that crazy? Infernity won worlds. Ooh, big facts. But what do you guys think 
of how everything has kind of gone and shifted since Master Rule 4. We have more FDKs developing than we've ever had before, and I feel many of them centralize around the one card, which is Firewall Dragon, giving you the ability not only to get resources back, but also the ability to infinitely summon out of hand. Do you think this is one of the cards that needs one of the first ever erratas ever while being in the game? Should it not be banned? Or do you think there's other problems afoot that we should continue to hit and keep Firewall, continue to hit the other problems that are around? And that's simply the answer. Let me know, because I do think there's multiple answers here, but I, I think if you take away Firewall, a lot of these cards aren't as problematic as they would be open chat you got any opinions towards the end of this video i mean i think the fact that that fire wall lasted this long and the amount of fdks it spawns it's just ridiculous at this point personally uh, until, oh go ahead until they hit firewall all they can really do is hit the bone cards yeah like so with if firewall is for some reason really anime immune to our physical card game you got to keep hitting them and that's unfortunate but in my opinion there there are multiple things i i feel like you should maybe hit the banned cards but also hit the firewall but yeah, again let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below i want to hear your opinions thanks for watching everybody